What's up guys? This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, so I'm going to teach you how to create an HVAC system. Okay, so you create the HVAC systems to place air terminals and mechanical equipment in a project. So after that, so you can create a supply, return, and exhaust system to connect the components of the HVAC system. So you can connect these components either using the automatic uh, connection or automatic system creation to create the duct routing layouts or you can also do it manually which is what I'm going to do also later on. Okay, so for the first uh, part of this exercise, so I'm going to teach you how to create an HVAC system. Okay, so what we are going to do or what I'm going to do first is so I'm going to insert first the components that I want for this exercise. Okay, so I'm going to insert my air terminals and my mechanical equipment. Okay, alright, so to start with, so I'm just going to zoom in. Alright, okay, so I'm going to place here my air terminals. So from the systems tab, so I'm going to select the air terminal. Okay, so I'm using the default uh, family uh, M return diffuser, but I'm going to insert first a supply diffuser. Okay, so let's say I'm just going to select this one, 600 by 600 to 50. Okay, and then after that, uh, if you're going to use the default family in Revit, like the air terminals, okay, so make sure you specify the offset distance because by default, the height of the air terminal zero okay so let's say for example i'm going to key in here uh, 2400 okay all right then after that i'm just going to place it anywhere okay somewhere here and then i select modify to terminate it okay and then after that so i'm going to uh, open my level 2 hvac ceiling plan Okay, so from here, I'm going to align my air terminal. So let's say I'm going to use the align tool. You can also use the move tool. Okay, so you can find it here from the modify. So I'm going to select here the align tool. Okay, so let's say I'm going to insert, uh, align it here. So you select first the reference and then the side of the air terminal that you want to align. Okay, select first the reference. And then the side of the air terminal that you want to align. Okay, so something like that. Then after that, I select modify to deselect the object or you can also press escape. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to duplicate this. I'm just going to copy. Okay, so like what I've said, you can also use the move command to align your air terminal to the ceiling. So like for example, I'm going to select the air terminal. This is the move tool just below the air terminal. So I select the move tool. So let's say I'm going to place it here. So there you go. And then I'm going to copy. So I copy. And then I'm going to make sure that the multiple here is checked to duplicate the element multiple times. So let's say I'm going to place it here. Okay, and then I'm going to place it here. I'm going to place it here. Okay, so let's say I'm going to place it also here and another one here. And where else? Okay, so here. And then after that, I'm going to select modify. Okay. So you can also assign airflow information to your air terminal. So if you click the air terminal, so you can see that you can specify the airflow of that air terminal. Okay, so in case you want to change the airflow, so you just need to select the air terminal. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the mechanical equipment. So after we insert or I insert the air terminal, so I'm going to insert the mechanical equipment. So I'm going to open my level 2 HVAC plan view. Okay, and then after that, from the systems, I select mechanical equipment. Okay, and then I'm going to look for, uh -huh. 
VAV unit parallel fan powered 4 to 200. Okay, so let's say this is the one that I want. And before you insert your mechanical equipment, you can also press the space bar to rotate the VAV unit, right? You can press the space bar. So let's say I'm just going to place it here. Okay, and then I select modify. So just like your air terminal, so you also need to specify the offset of your uh, equipment. So in case you already place it, you can still change the offset by selecting it and then changing the offset here. Okay, so say for example, I'm just going to make it 3100. Okay, there you go. Okay, then after that, I'm going to insert also a, a return diffuser. So I select the air terminal again. So from the type selector, I'm going to look for the supply, uh, return diffuser. So return diffuser, so I select this. Same height with my supply diffuser, 2400. So I'm just going to place it somewhere here and then place one here. And then I go to the ceiling plan again just to align my air terminal. Okay, so I'll just select this and then move. So let's say I'm going to place it. Uh, somewhere here. Okay. okay, so there you go. So move. Say I'm going to place it somewhere here. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> so after that, what I'm going to do next is I'm now going to create a supply and return air system. Okay, supply and return air system. So to do that, I'm going to select one of the air terminals, like for example, the supply first. I'm going to create a supply air system. So I'm going to select it. And then from the modify air terminals, so there's this create systems panel. So I'm going to select the duct here to create a duct system. Okay, and then after that, you can specify the name here. Okay, so you can specify the name. So let's say this is my, okay, so mechanical air for my second floor or whatever name that you want. Then after that, I'm going to select OK. Alright, so at the moment, the only part of the system, uh, the only air terminal that is part of the system is this. Okay, if I want to include the other supply diffusers okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, select in case you deselected so just select again the air terminal and then you can see here there's a dock systems okay and then you look for edit system so edit system and then you have these options here okay so you can add an air terminal to the system or remove so by default Add to system is selected. So I'm going to select all the supply diffusers. You can also use window selection for this. Okay. So as you can see, the total number of elements is 7. And then after that, I'm going to select here, select equipment. So I select equipment. Okay. And then I'm going to select the equipment that I want to use to supply those air terminals. Okay, there you go. So you can see, this is now the system name. Okay, so after you select all the elements that you want to be included to the system, so I'm now going to select Finish Editing System. So I select that. Okay, and then to check the system, so what you can do is you hover your pointer, uh, do not click, just move your pointer over the air terminal and then press tab once. So when you press tab, as you can see, all the elements that is included in a system mechanical supply air are all highlighted. So if you click that, see, it will tell you the property of that system. Okay. 
So another way to check uh, the system in this project, you can right click on the blank space, right click, and then there's a browsers here. So you can select the system browser. Okay, so there's my system browser. So let me just combine it here. Okay. So this is now my system browser. <clears throat> okay, so it's hanging. Okay, so this is my system browser. System browser. Okay, so if I'm going to uh, click this and then click again, as you can see, I have here two systems created. Okay, so this is the one that I have. This one. Okay, right? So if I click this, as you can see, it highlights here. Even the supply diffusers. So they are highlighting. So from here, you can see all the elements that is included to the system, as well as the elements that is not yet assigned to a system. Okay, so right now I have this one. Okay, so I created this. Okay, so for this exercise, they already created this system. So this is the one that I have created. Okay, so now, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to create this time my uh, return system. So same procedure. I'm going to select one return diffuser, doc system. So as you can see, as I selected this uh, air terminal, this portion highlighted because this is one of the elements that are unassigned. Okay, so that is an assigned, unassigned. See, right? This one, okay? So I select this and then after that, I select here a uh, doc system. So let's say this is the name. And then after that, I'm going to select here, OK. So I now have here one system created. But as you can see, I only have this uh, air terminal selected for this system. I only have one. So what I'm going to do, same procedure. I'm going to select the air terminal and then there's the dock systems. Okay, and then after that, I can select here, Edit System. So now I'm going to add this Return Diffuser, and then I'm going to select the equipment that will be used to supply those uh, terminals. So I select this, select Equipment, so select. All right, then after that, I select Finish. There you go. So, once again, if I click this, as you can see, it highlights here. If I click this, see, it now highlights. Okay, so this is now the system that I created. Okay, so that's how you create a system in Revit 2017. So, aside from connecting the dock to the connectors of your air terminal, you can already create a system by doing this procedure. Okay, so just remember the, the procedure. So what you can do is, so you have to select first or you have to insert first the uh, components that you are going to use. And then after that, you select those elements and then create the system. So you can find it somewhere here so when you select so you can see the tool here okay there you go so that's how you create an HVAC system so you create a supply or return air system and then ap after that you activate the edit doc system then you need to select or add the components and then the equipment okay So on the next part of my exercise, on my next video, I'm going to teach you how to uh, generate a ducting, okay? Ducting layout after you create a system, okay? So if you have any questions, if you have any uh, comments, you can put it on the comment section below and then I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
or you can also install Quip Spear to your uh, smartphone and then you can follow me. I already included the description below on how to use the Quip Spear and uh, where, to st uh, where to install it. So once again, this is Richard for, uh, from Learning with Rich. So until then, take care.